A 250 watt e-bike, who's it good for? Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a 250 watt e-bike and who it's good for. But before I get into it, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here in 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. All right, right here I have the Every Journey e-bike. This comes in a 250 watt version. You can see it linked in the description below if you wanna check that out. Now, 250 watt e-bikes, 350 watt e-bikes, you're seeing a lot of 750 watt, 500 watt, but 250 watt e-bikes are actually really great. And there's a couple people specifically that I think it's really great for. Now, number one, if you're just riding around your community, you don't need to be flying around at absolute top speeds. 250 watts is more than enough power. I'm 220 pounds, and on this, I can reach speeds of up to 20 miles an hour and that's pretty fast. And so if you don't wanna spend the extra bucks on a 500 watt, or you really don't wanna have that much power, cause honestly, keeping the motor a little bit smaller can be safer, so it doesn't get out of control or unruly. It's a nice way to just cruise with the 250 watts. I also see this specifically as a great option for families and moms who are maybe riding with other riders and you don't need uh, tons of power because maybe they're riding manual bikes or you're just going at a leisurely pace. Seniors, it's also a great option as well because you're not going to get super thrust um, and it's not gonna catch you off guard, but it's gonna give you enough power, like I said, to still achieve 20 miles an hour with pedal assist and about 18 miles an hour with a throttle only. The other thing too is with a reduced motor, typically you can get more range because the battery isn't pulling as much power. Now, on bigger motors, you'll typically have bigger batteries, but you can save bucks with a smaller battery because the 250 watt doesn't need as big of a battery. But again, I'm 220 pounds and 250 watts on flat ground and small hills is great for me. Now, lastly, if you're under 180 pounds, 250 watts is gonna do everything for you. Uphills, straightaways, you name it, it's more than enough power to get you around um, with the pedal assist, with the throttle, and doing things like that. So if you're concerned with safety, you don't need outrageously high top speeds. I would consider a 250 watt. They're gonna cruise really nice. You can still go around town. You can still take on some hills, um, but don't have to worry about that extra power that maybe you don't need. So if you have any other questions at all about 250 watt e-bikes, please put them in the comments below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. In addition to that, you have 30 days to test ride your e-bike. If you don't love your e-bike in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for up to one year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we're gonna take care of it, parts and labor. And lastly, join our Facebook group, 630 Peddlers, pop over there, and you can ask existing riders how they like their e-bike and see, ask them questions. And when you have yours, join the group or post in the group, make friends, it's tons of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.